welcome to Harmonic Hands. Today I am talking pivot turns. Uh, pivot turns are when we use scales or scalar passages. Basically, it's a replacement of the thumb tuck. Thumb tuck uses uses this part of the hand and right in here to get that thumb under. uses the rotational mo movement of the forearm to send that thumb right back under there. So I'll do that a few times with my students. The two scales I start the students out on because it's um, we want them to get used to it on a half step B major in right hand and B flat major in left hand. So I'm going to start out with right hand and I start them out with what I call a rocking trick and the rocking trip trick happens between D sharp and B, three to one, because that's where we're going to pivot to get that thumb under. So I start them D sharp, thumb, three times, and always four, and then we turn, we keep that weight forward, we keep the elbow forward, and then we just return and shove it in. Now, sometimes what you'll see is you'll see this and like a weird circular thing, or sometimes you'll see it pulled back. This is very extreme. So what I sometimes do is I put a little helper guy right here, just a little helper fist. I help them turn. And as long, I've noticed, I just figured this out. Um, recently, I actually just figured this out. I noticed that if I'm making contact, they'll want to remain in contact with my, my very relaxed fist. So instead of kind of going up in the air like this and coming back down or turning and pulling back, I'm making contact with them just helping them guide them to the proper location. Um, another thing I'll do is gently hold them, hold their thumb right here. And again, you want to make sure not to pull up or pull from here or pull from here. And if you feel that they're not turning from the arm, which you will feel that because it'll feel like it's caught, tell them turn from the elbow. You can turn them a few times like this. Sometimes that three is going to have a hard time staying down, so keep that elbow forward. Thumb joint. This is kind of strange to do it on myself, I have to admit. And always touch the note first before shoving. Now we turn, make sure they're turning from the elbow, and help them shove it in. But you're supporting this lower joint right here. chair like just swivel like an office chair all right so that's and then we start adding in the notes of the scale after we work on the rocking trick for maybe one to two weeks and sometimes I will put in a little pause so that they know okay it's just my elbow so they don't feel rushed because the brain can only process so many things at a time and then eventually we take out that rocking trick so now I'm going to reposition my camera to take a look at what I do with left hand left hand starts with B flat um, because that first pivot turn is from B flat to A so the rocking trick happens with the camera right there so let me try it up okay.
keep that up. from the elbow like this. I hope this is helpful and thank you for watching.